With this piece of apparatus, we can watch objects fall in a way perhaps that you've never seen before. We have here a stream of little milk drops, at least it looks like milk, little milk drops falling with gravity being the accelerating force. Down they come. It's a little hard to see them this way, but we're going to look at them in a, look at them in a, in a special way. In a moment, what I'm going to do is turn off the background lights and watch it with a strobe light. Now that strobe light is a flashing light. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn that flashing light on. And when you uh, first turn it on, you'll see one of those little milk drops being formed right up here. And uh, then the light will go off. And when the light goes off, that milk drop will fall and be replaced by a second one. Then the light will come on and you'll see both of them. Then the light goes off, first one falls, second one falls, and a third one is produced to replace it. We watch that and we synchronize the strobe light just to the uh, frequency at which the uh, drops are being formed here at the top. We'll see this falling object or a series of falling objects in a very remarkable way. Okay, so we turn on the strobe light, and when we do this just right, then we freeze the motion. You can see the falling object accelerate. In that first little instant of time, the object falls a short, short distance because it's not going very fast yet. In that second instant of time, it falls further. In the third instant of time, yet further. And in the fourth instant of time, yet further. Each time you look at it further down, you see it having traveled a greater distance because it's going faster. The object is accelerating, and the force which is accelerating it is the force of gravity, which is a force downward on the object. 